morning all and welcome to HTP Training Tuesday. I'm Caleb Craig and today I'll be bringing you some information around thermal expansion on HTP pipelines. Now thermal expansion on HTP pipelines is critical um, and you really need to make sure you know exactly what you're doing when you're specifying or designing a pipeline in an above ground situation, especially in a plant like the one behind me here. Now, there's one main thing you need to know with HDPE, and that is that the expansion rate for P100 HDP pipelines is 2.4 millimetres per 10 degrees change in temperature. So that's 2.4 per 10 degrees change in temperature. So I'll go into a little bit more detail on this so you can understand how to allow for that in your pipeline installation. Now there's three key areas that you need to be clear on um, before you go ahead and, and design your pipeline. One is the minimum likely temperature that this pipeline is going to get to in the middle of winter, wherever that is. Um, what's, the, what's the lowest possible temperature that that pipeline is going to get to? In some areas of Australia, that's below minus. Um, and it's a sliding scale, it goes right down to as, as low as you like. And then you also need to know the maximum temperature. So what's the highest temperature that pipeline is likely to reach in summer? Now work this out based on an empty pipeline because like this plant behind me, it goes into shutdown quite often. Now, if you have a shutdown in the middle of summer and your pipeline's empty, that is what you'll need to account for there. If you don't, you end up tearing your brackets to bits and destroying your plant. Now, you also need to account for, or you can include in the equation, your install temperature. So if the ambient temperature at time of install is 20 degrees, that's important to know as well. So once you've got these three key um, figures down pat, um, you jump onto our website, and I'll just bring it up here now. tools and calculators and there is a thermal expansion calculator here. Now this is beautiful because often people forget um, what the equation is so you can just save this to your, to your bookmarks or whatever. <clears throat> All you need to do here is plug in the length of your pipeline. Now say if it's 100 meters and the lowest possible temperature is zero <clears throat> and the highest possible temperature is 60. Calculate that. Just going to clear this out. No pressure. Okay. So length of pipeline says 100 meters. Lowest possible temperature is say minus 10, and the highest possible temperature is plus 60. You can see here it's automatically identified that you need to allow for 1.4 meters or 1400 millimeters of expansion and contraction in your pipeline. Now, how you mitigate it against that is by um, careful bracketing installation or expansion loops slash deflection legs. Now, I'm gonna show you quickly in our catalog here. If you click on the catalog on the website, there's a technical section at the back of the catalog. Now, if we type in here, expansion, that. Um, on page 189, you've got a section on compensating for thermal expansion. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this because we'll, we'll go on forever, but you can see here with the movement there and having a loop, you can, you can allow for the expansion and contraction of your pipeline. Also, can use a deflection leg, which is basically a lower bracketing on an elbow or a bend there, and you bracket it at a certain point, which is worked out in this table here, so that it allows for the movement of the expansion and contraction. Also on non-pressure pipelines, there's things such as expansion sockets, and that sort of thing you can use, or expansion bellows. But generally, bellows only allow for a very small amount of movement, which is not enough for HTP piping systems, you'd end up with dozens of bellows bolted together and it just wouldn't be practical. So compensating with expansion loops or deflection legs is the way to go. So I hope this was insightful for you. If, if you've got any specific questions for me, drop me a message in the comments um, below 
or contact me at caleb at advancedpiping.com.au. Be more than happy to hear from you. And as always, we'll see you on the next training Tuesday. Thanks, team.